players fighting at, after. Get the sense Chris Mack doesn't have a ton of patience for stuff like that. Or live ball turnovers. Hunter fumbled it away, recovers, and he swishes it. Leads against Florida State, Duke, and Virginia, or are they the team that blows double-digit well, leads? Uh, it, it's, well, right now, they are, I, I, I talked earlier about a fragile psyche, and this is an extremely fragile. Eerily similar to the start of the first half for Louisville with the long shots rolling around and out. We're going to see if uh, Virginia handles this zone a little bit better than they did in the first half. A lot of it was getting it to Huff. Here's Hunter, and he rattles one in from three. Both the Duke, both losses. Yep. But have carved their way back into this game, cutting that halftime lead in half. They're 23-0 when leading at the half, and 0-2 when trailing. But DeAndre Hunt, February. The Cardinals, after averaging 81 points a game in January, Scored 65 points a game in February. And a lot of it is just some of those shots that were falling back in January, not dropping now. DeAndre Hunter. The shooters, they much prefer to work, let him work one on one inside. Pretty good ball movement here. Leads to the Hunter three. Panic because the shot clock was running down. Waited till Blackshear came open and found it. And Virginia Tech tried to pressure Virginia at home a year ago. Got blitzed. Absolutely blown out of their own gym. Came back here with a completely different approach. And they stood tall with that approach ever since on the defensive end. The Andre Hunter. As we get underway in the second. Keep in mind that Alexander Walker only played 12 minutes in the first half. He was limited by some foul trouble. But this is where you have to do it if you're Virginia Tech. You've got to dig in, force the Cavaliers into tough shots. You're not going to come back from 22 down all in one or two plays. Just keep working. Hunter with a jump start. Oh, my. And a beauty. In this building a year ago, 65-63, big late moments for Guy and Jerome at Virginia with the Michigan loss earlier today at Wisconsin. The only remaining undefeated team in the country. Boy, Hunter passed up a three. He'll settle for a two. Boy, a terrific drive. Impressive for R.J. Barrett to stick with it and go right through the chest of Jack Salt. And Jack Salt is as big and strong as any linebacker in the NFL. Dehay Clark, the freshman from Woodland Hills, California, number zero. But at the game for the first time, now for Virginia. Pull up jumper, DeAndre Hunter will rattle and drop. Trio of Williamson, Reddish, and Barrett have combined for 27 of Duke's 29 points. Virginia needs a bucket. And oh, the yeah, Hunter's bigger than Barrett, don't you think? Maybe a little stronger. Yeah, taller and stronger. Barrett into double figures now. Hunter this time driving on Mark Lee's bold into the bit out of control. The Akite driving on Barrett in and out. Tipped back out though by Salt. Now Hunter goes around Reddish and makes it a three. He's a coach there. Here's Hunter. Can he get a first one? Yes, his first from the field. Jerome driving. Outside he goes with it. Hunter with four. Plenty of time. Jerome, top of the key. Played to perfection. Big time. Dribble drive and fine. Just get the puppies organized. From Iona Prep in New Rochelle. 45 minutes from Broadway. Bang! Comfortable as you say. Low clock. Now with three. Hunter. Outside. Oh. There it is. Boy, does that set up his ability to use the physique and attack the rim. To the steady hands of Jerome. Drive it on Culver. See if Hunter takes Owens away from that post area. He With does. Over to Hunter. Got another one. Owens forgot. That's how. Got to give him room to go. Looks so right. Takes the jumper. Hits the oh. jumper. Big time. Early dagger. Got to go fast. Jerome gives it up. Far side. Hunter. Oh. Hits the three to tie it. Oh, what? They really do. They've been able to get through the cracks, too. The show zone and get to that man. Hunter hit the shot at the end of regulation. Oh, just it a, does it again. You're out of the game and Horn in playing the center spot. Virginia has a substantial size advantage. Let's see if they can take it inside. 
Hunter decides to take it, and why not? He pressured that shot and then was able to go back up and get the rebound. Virginia Tech really needs stops in these last two minutes. Hunter. For the game in four-minute increments, as the coaches always say. Clark with a bounce pass entry right to Hunter. No stopping him there. No stopping him there. Yeah, I think, I think that's the one of the big differences that Dan is with Clark's availability. That really eases life for Kyle Guy. He gets to play off the ball a great deal more. You're back in. Virginia gets smaller now with the Akite in effect at the five. And like I always say, if you don't want to be known as a dunker, you can always lay it in. <laughs> but please don't. <laughs> We've gone uh, game day this morning. Reset the over-under on dunks at two and a half, I believe, for Williamson. Yeah, I took the over. Took the over. He's got one in the books. Hunter sizing up one. Nice job. Many buckets. Especially right under the basket. Sticking with the 2-3 zone. Hunter got Williamson in the air and knocks it home. Edwards on guy now. He can't drift too much. They get it to Hunter. Off the glass. It's so, it's so simple, coach. It is. <laughs> Tying up guy. Jump ball. Wow, they don't call it. Would have gone the other way on the arrow. Nice rebound. Hunter waits. Backs in. Basket goes. Woo!